Hi, Emma. Hello. Um, just so you know, I'm sending you my homework right now, and it's not letting me send a lot of files, so I have to do like two files at a time. Do it. Do it in separate emails if you have to. So yeah, okay. I was just letting okay. you know. That's okay, that's fine. That's how. Okay. That's what's happened to other people as well, Emma. Yeah. Okay. I just okay. feel bad because I'm gonna send you like a bunch of emails. Okay. Uh, well, Emma. What happened this morning was people got onto the test and they couldn't log on to it. How really? many emails do you think I got? Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, so yeah, I had to go and figure out how to fix it right yeah. away. And then I had to answer everybody and nobody would yeah. call me back. Yeah, it was in my physics class, like a lot of people couldn't get on and she had our time like scheduled. So it was taking people like, 30 to 45 minutes to set it up and then uh, like they ran out of time for the test and so. uh well this is it, it's not going to happen to you for sure because okay. uh it's not going to happen to you for sure because uh what i have what i have clicked is uh instead of an enforced time i have a recommended time Oh, okay. That's helpful. So next time it's not going to be that way. It yeah. was, but this time it will be. That's good. And then like my, like my camera, audio, like vision, like quit halfway through. So I had to like reload it up. So uh -huh. the whole thing is just kind of, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Believe but me. I don't know someone who was in like calculus, their like tests exited out in the middle and they got like a 14% and honor lock was like, Oh, there's nothing we can do. So, well, I'll know. be honest with you. The average on the test was a 60. Really? Wow. I, it's, How many questions is it? Uh, I want to say 25. Okay. Something like, I, I don't, wow. I don't remember. Yeah. Maybe four. Uh, yeah. One second. It's okay. 25 maybe okay yeah. something in that range i think yeah i think i'm 25 sounds about right to me yeah yeah okay cool okay everybody in here those of you that took the test this morning do not ruin the surprise for those of those that are taking it later god bless you whoever sneezed good thank you How we doing? I got, uh, let's see. I got nine people here. That seem about right, guys? How can nope. you know? <laughs> How do you know? All right. I had, for those of you that are taking the test later on, I had a major catastrophe happen to me. I, got, I woke this morning and I did my cross report. I relaxed because I thought everything is done. Unfortunately, I got on the, the website at about, uh, 20, about 5 after 9.30. People couldn't access the test. That shouldn't happen with you guys later on. What happened was when you're making up tests, there is this button that says hide from users so that the users can't see it while you're making up the test. I didn't off click that button and I got told real quick to do that. So that's what happened. The, you guys shouldn't have a problem later on. Shouldn't. Alyssa, how was it? Alyssa, turn your mic off. Turn your mic on. Let's see who else is in here. Calvin, how was it? I mean, it was okay. Caitlin, how was it? I thought it was okay as well. Okay. Um, a little bit uh, harder than your last test, though. Did you, did you get the email? Calvin and uh, Caitlin, did you get the email I sent recently? I got it. Okay, it don't say anything about it. Don't say anything about it. Let's just say, guys, it's going to be a pleasant surprise. Uh, how are we doing? I got 11 people in here. 
How are we doing? We kind of burn out first group. Kind of burn out. Caitlin, you kind of burn out. She's so burnt out, she's not answering. All right, this is a very, very, very easy lab. Very, very easy lab for us to do, okay? Has everybody seen the, uh, uh, has everybody seen the uh, data sheets for this? Anybody seen the data sheets for this? Yeah. Not yet. Uh, understood. Basically, what you're going to have is you're going to have at the very top, very top of the page, you're going to have three titrations. You're going to use the top half of the page to standardize your iodine solution. Then right below that, you have three more titrations that you're going to use to determine the amount of ascorbic acid concentration in your orange juice. That's what this lab is all about. It's nothing more than a, it is nothing more than a titration lab. You have done these before. It's very, very easy, guys. Okay, there's only one little trick with this, okay? Has anybody ever done the experiment of starch with iodine? It's a very famous experiment that they, they usually uh, show it to little kids because basically it's innocuous because you got starch in water. And the other thing is uh, it makes a very, very bright, brilliant blue color. Has anybody ever done that? No. Fair enough, fair enough. When iodine reacts with starch, it makes this bright blue color, okay? Now, if we were to just mix iodine with ascorbic acid, both of them are fairly colorless, so you can't see it. So what we do is we put the ascorbic acid in with the starch, okay? Normally what happens is the ascorbic acid will chew up the iodine, okay? So there's no color. As long as there's ascorbic acid there, the ascorbic acid reacts with the iodine, so there's no iodine to react with the starch. When the ascorbic acid is gone, then there's iodine to react with the starch, makes a brilliant blue color. So that is how you know that the ascorbic acid and the iodine concentrations are equal. Does that make sense to you? I think so. Okay. A lot of times in chemistry, because the thing you're reacting with the other thing, they react, but they don't make any color change. So what you have to do is you have to add a second chemical to one of them so that the second chemical will react with the first one to make a color change. That's what we're doing in this experiment. We are adding starch to ascorbic acid. Normally what happens is the ascorbic acid reacts with the iodine. So there's no iodine around to react with the starch. When the ascorbic acid is gone, that means that the Iodine is now present to react with the starch. We get a blue color. It's when we, the blue color first appears. That's when we know that the ascorbic acid has just gone away so that the concentration of this, the, excuse me, the moles of the ascorbic acid are equal to the moles of the iodine. Is that kind of making sense to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah? Or are you just saying yeah because you want to get me to stop talking? No, it makes sense. All right. So I'm going if I haven't loaded this up, you guys can see the screen, right? You can see the vitamin C there? Vitamin C yeah. lab? Yeah. Okay. If I haven't loaded this up, I will load it up right after class, but I don't want to do that. All right, that's what I want to do. 
Okay, I, I will load this up if it's not there. I believe it already is. And if you look right under the data, you should be able to see this PowerPoint if you need to refer back to it. Okay, all a titration is, is taking a volume of a sol solution with known concentration, and we're generally going to compare it to a volume of solution of unknown concentration. We're gonna add the known, we can either add the known solution dropwise, or we can add the unknown dropwise, but the bottom line is we're gonna see a change in color. When we see that change in color, then we know that our moles of known are equal to our moles of unknown. Okay, the first half, the first, you're gonna see a top half and you're gonna see a bottom half. The top half, that is concerned with standardizing your iodine solution. So in that case, we don't know what the molarity of our iodine is. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a known volume. We're going to pipette. We're going to get and accurately measure out 25 milliliters of our ascorbic acid solution that we know is 0 0.004962 molar. If I multiply, change, first of all, change this to liters and multiply it by the concentration, which is in moles per liter, I get the moles of ascorbic acid. All right, I've got this in my flask. This is how many moles of ascorbic acid I have in my flask. I take my iodine. My iodine is in my burette, and I'm dropping my iodine down. I'm dropping 22.05 milliliters of the iodine. Blue color. At that point, once I got the blue color, I know that my moles of iodine are equal to my moles of ascorbic acid. If I have this much ascorbic acid, that must mean I have that much iodine. So that much iodine is not distributed in 25. This many moles of iodine is distributed in 25.05 milliliters. So, If that is the amount of my ascorbic acid, if that's the amount of ascorbic acid that's in this, wait a second, did I miss a, I missed a couple slides. Sorry, sorry guys, I, I skipped ahead a slide or two. If this is the amount of moles of iodine and it's in 22.05 milliliters, in order to get the concentration of my iodine, all I have to do is take the moles of iodine and divide it by the liters that the iodine is in. That gives me a solution of 0 0.005626 iodine. Okay, so I'm gonna do this three times. There are three separate calculations you have to do. You have to do these calculations three times, and then you're gonna get a molarity for each one. You're gonna take the average of that. Okay, that is the first half of the experiment. You have standardized your iodine. Now comes the only part of this experiment that is a bit iffy. Is orange juice colorless? No. That color interferes with the blue color of the reaction. So that when you're doing this in real life, the, the end point isn't as good as it was with the straight ascorbic acid. So that's the main bugaboo with this. All right, I'm going to take 25 milliliters of my orange juice. I'm gonna measure this volume out just as, just as to the same degree that I measured the ascorbic acid out earlier. And I'm gonna titrate it with my 0, .00 5626 standardized iodine solution. The color change happened when I put in 35.35 milliliters of iodine. So if I multiply my 
iodine volume in liters by my standardized molarity of my iodine, I get the moles of iodine, which again, at my endpoint, is equal to the moles of ascorbic acid. Now looky here, guys, my moles of ascorbic acid is in the 25 milliliters of the orange juice. I just take my moles of ascorbic acid divided by the milliliters changed to liters, and I end up with my concentration of ascorbic acid. All right, that is the way, ladies and gentlemen, that is the way that the results section wants you to fill out, okay? Do we understand that? Do we understand that? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go through another way of calculating this that is a lot easier. Understand the calculations want, to, want you to do it the first, what is this, five slides, six slides? That's the way the results want you to do it. If you're doing this in real life, this is the way I would do it because it's a lot easier. There's another formula, M1V1 equals M2V2. If I take my moles or my concentration and volume of my ascorbic acid, that's gonna give me moles of ascorbic acid. Remember, we said at the end point, moles of ascorbic acid are equal to our moles of iodine. So my molarity of my ascorbic acid times my volume of the ascorbic acid is equal to my molarity of my iodine times the volume of my iodine. I get 25 times my ascorbic acid concentration is equal to 22 times X. I do that math out, I get 0 0.005625. Notice guys, I'm not changing milliliters to liters. I'm not changing it because if I do the conversion on the left side, I also have to do the conversion on the right, they would simply cancel out. So that's the first one I do. The second one I do, I'm gonna use the same formula, only this time I have 25 milliliters of orange juice that I'm multiplying by an unknown concentration. That's equal to the volume of my iodine times the concentration of my iodine. I solve this out and I get X, which is the concentration of ascorbic acid in my orange juice. That's all I got for you guys. Okay. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Has, if we're good guys, then really and truly, that's all I have for you. Anybody from the first lecture have any questions for me right now? Were you happy with the email you got? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to set that up. The reason I don't want you to do it right now is not only do I have your homework coming in, but I have my second lab's homework, my second lecture's homework coming in. It's getting really, really confusing. So I'm not going to, I, it, just do it for my favor. Wait until tomorrow morning to do what I ask you to, okay? Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, Anybody have any questions about the, about the, this lab? Uh, just literally speaking, I've given you all the information for this lab. If you want to watch the video, go ahead. It shows you how the reaction uh, goes, proceeds. It's not that long, maybe a couple minutes or so. Uh, I've given you all the information. It's just like doing a normal lab. They didn't change anything involved with this laboratory. Are we good, guys? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Anybody have anything for me versus lecture or anything else? Because I, I got some time. I don't even know, don't know how much, but I still have some time on this. Uh, so were there any like problems with Honor Lock being open note or anything like? Being open note, 
like uh, what was happens? Okay that she wrote stuff on their desk. What happens, guys, is Honor Lock will, might tell me that oh, you guys are looking at papers, and I would get a message on there saying high incidence. And basically, I go in and see what the high incident is, and they say, oh, you were just shuffling around papers. Everybody gets a high incident. That's because, one, Honor Lock wants to know that they're actually doing something. And the second thing is, things happen to you. You do things like have uh, uh, people come into the room. You have things like going out of screen. If you're going out of screen, basically it tell it flags you, and I look at it and I say, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah," and I say, "Okay, I probably had about ten people that had a high incidence. I had no problems, guys." Okay, and but people weren't allowed to like use the powerpoints on their computer. Correct. Okay. So if you want to use the powerpoints, Emma, you're print going to have to print them out. Okay. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Anything else, guys? Emma. Yes. Write this number down. Okay. What is it? Seven two seven two zero two seven two seven five. Okay. It is due to start at five thirty. The, the exam. All right. If you could get on there at 530 and immediately call me if there's a problem. Okay. I would really appreciate it. Okay. Okay. You said 727-202-7275. That's my home landline. Okay. I'll I'm call you if I have a problem. Answer that. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll call you if I have a problem, but if not, just don't do anything. Okay. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Anybody have anything else? Shannon, are you taking it later? The test or the lab? The test. Did you I take it, it already? Morning. Yeah, I took it this morning. Okay, I'm sorry. For some reason or other, you and Erica, I, I kind of lumped together, and I'm sorry to say this, but I, it's kind of like if I see you, I know who you guys are individually, but for some reason or other, I, I do that. So I, I, it must be Erica that's taking it later on this evening. Okay, good enough. How'd you do on it? I mean, I got a 63. It wasn't my best, but... How'd you I get think... a 63? There were five points apiece. I know, I, I missed like eight questions. But how did you get a 63? There were oh, sorry, five... I have a 63, a 68. Okay, again, sorry. they were worth five points apiece. How did you get a 68? Oh, I don't know. Uh, wonderful. That means that's something else I gotta look into. Okay. No problem. You'll make it up with the thing I told you to do, okay? Yeah, I will. Anybody have anything else? This is uh, like in the lab. For the Who is this? Theory. Who's talking? Naima. Hi, Naima. Hi. Um, I just want to make sure like the recording of this, like I missed like a few minutes of it. Like I of you talking but like okay. basically this recording will be in the last did you did you get on when i started the slideshow yes that was basically the important part okay and the slideshow will be uh, uploaded to the uh course course file okay it's going to be right underneath the data all right okay mm-hmm Anything else, guys? You like my shirt? You like my shirt? Yeah, it's very Hawaiian. <laughs> Have you seen me wear two different Hawaiian or two the same Hawaiian shirts yet? No, not that I think of. I don't remember. I think the other one was like brighter, like a orange yellow. Oh, you, you think every Hawaiian shirt looks the same? Kind of. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm not going to hold you any longer. So I'm going to go ahead and end the meeting if nobody has anything else to add. Good luck. Keep yourself safe.